Now, Maldives President Mohamed Muizu has acknowledged India's significant role in providing aid to the island nation. He has stated that India has implemented the greatest number of projects and has urged New Delhi to consider providing debt relief to the archipelago nation, which is owned, uh, which is owed, I beg your pardon, approximately US dollars 400 million to India by the end of last year. Now, stressing upon the enduring bond between Maldives and India, President Muizu has also stated that India would continue to be the Maldives' closest ally. It's indeed surprising to see that after a period of strained relations with India, the Maldives president has extended an olive branch, asserting India's crucial role as the Maldives' closest ally. Now, Muizu's reconciliatory stance follows a period of tension marked by demands for the repatriation of Indian military personnel from the island nation in December 2023 and a perceived tilt towards China since assuming office in November last year itself. My colleague Brian Anthony Thomas joins us on the broadcast. Brian, some rather interesting comments are trickling in. Muizu, of course, has made a whole 180 degree turn in terms of his tone towards India. Earlier, of course, he was bashing India. His ministers were openly bashing India. He was giving a cold shoulder. And of course, our relations had become very tense at one point of time. There has been a closer tilt towards China that is undeniable. Muizu, of course, had snubbed India and had not followed the convention of a Maldivian president's very first state visit to being India. He had instead gone to Turkey and then to China. Um, now these remarks are coming in. What further details can you share with our viewers? What else has Muizu said? Uh, well, throwing a reconciliatory tone after this very diplomatic row uh, PR with India. Now, Maldives President Mohammed Muizu has requested New Delhi for a debt relief measure while also stating that India will continue to remain Maldives closest ally and he further claimed that he has not taken any action nor made any statements that may uh, strain the relationship between the two nations and even notably the president uh, Muizu, um, uh, he also when he assumed office, he said that he has hoped that India will accommodate debt relief measures for Maldives in the re uh, repayment of the hefty loans taken from the country over consecutive governments. And he also says that the conditions that they have inherited are such that there are very large loans taken from India. Hence, they are holding discussions to explore leniencies in the repayment, uh, repayment of structures of these loans. And instead of halting any ongoing project, um, they wanted to be proceed them at speed. And he says that there is no reason for any adverse effects. And even, uh, you know, it has been reported that we are getting to know that former uh, Maldives President Ibrahim Mohamed Soli, his administration of Maldives took 1.4 million USD or US dollars loan from India's export and import exim bank. And together with this, the amount owed by Maldives to India by the end of last year stood at least 6.2 billion Maldivian rupiah. Notably, even uh, uh, Maldives President Mohamed Muizu also has dis uh, displayed uh, anti-India rhetoric and even uh, even ran the electoral campaign on the line of India out. And since coming to power, also he has taken several steps, Pia, that have been unconventional from this point of India Maldives ties. He even departed from a long convention of by not visiting India on the very first official visit, and instead he went to Turkey, followed by China. And last December also Maldives said that it would not renew the hydro uh, uh, hydrographic survey agreement made with India. And uh, on being asked about this, his demand for the withdrawal of Indian troops from Maldives, he also aims, he also said that his aim was to encourage the country to become more self-reliant reliant and self-sufficient. And he even stated that his aim to, was to encourage Maldives to become self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. However, now his entire stance has completely changed where he says, that India is his close ties and he wants, uh, you know, and he wants, to, uh, and he basically requests New Delhi for Delhi, uh, debt relief measures while stating that India will now remain Maldives' closest ally. Yes. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.